Hello everyone, we are from True Maths and in this video we are going to solve question number 7th of exercise 13.2. The question says a solid consisting of a right circular cone of height 120 centimeters and radius 60 centimeters standing on a hemisphere of radius 60 centimeters is placed upright in the right circular cylinder full of water such that it touches the bottom. You have to find the volume of the water left in the cylinder if the radius of the cylinder is 60 centimeters and its height is 180 centimeters. Now, there are two things. The first is a right circular cone which is standing on a hemisphere means a uh, This is a cone which is standing on a right uh, on a hemisphere and it is given that the cone the height of the cone is 120 centimeters and the base radius is 60 centimeters. So the height is 120 centimeters and the base radius is 60 centimeters and there is another cylinder. This is a cylinder and the dimensions of this cylinder is uh, the base radius is same as this which is 60 centimeters and the height is 180 centimeters. The height is 180 centimeters. Now what we are doing is we are placing this figure inside this cylinder. Now what will happen? Here the base radius of this and this is same so it will look like the hemisphere will look like this and on this a cone is place. So this figure will look like this where a cylinder is full of water and inside the cylinder we have placed another figure whose base is a hemisphere and on this on the top of this hemisphere a cone is placed and obviously the dimension of these two are these three are given to you. Now according to Archimedes principle if this container uh, which is a cylinder is filled with water which is completely filled with water and if I place something inside it so the water flown out will be the volume of uh, the volume of water flown out will be equal to the volume of this figure. Now I have to find out the remaining water the find the volume of the remaining water in the cylinder. So that will be equal to the volume of this complete cylinder minus this because this is the remaining water which will remain inside the cylinder. So this will be complete minus the volume of these two things. Now I need to find the volume of water left. That will be equal to the complete volume of the cylinder minus the volume of this complete thing which is the volume of cone plus the volume of hemisphere. So if you need to find the volume of water left for that you have to subtract the volume of this from this and the volume of this is the volume of cone plus the volume of hemisphere. So now I know the formulas. Now I can substitute the formulas and I'll get my answer. The volume of cylinder is pi r square h minus volume of the cone is 1 upon 3 pi 
R square H. The radius is given same in all the cases. So radius can be remain same. Plus the volume of the hemisphere is 2 by 3 pi R cube. Again the radius is same. Now if we have to solve this. Uh, I can take the pi r square common from all the things. This is pi r square. Here also it is pi r square. Here also it is pi r square. So I am taking pi r square as common. So inside the bracket, from this expression, if pi r square is taken out, h will remain inside the bracket. Now, there is a negative sign outside this bracket. So when I have to open this bracket, this the sign inside the bracket will get changed. So this positive will become negative and this positive will again will become negative. So from here pi r square is taken out. So minus 1 upon 3 h will remain inside the bracket. Now this will again sign changed and from here pi r square is taken out. So 2 upon 3 r will remain inside the bracket here. Because from r cube when r, r square is taken out only r will remain inside the bracket. Now the value of pi is 22 upon 7. Here the radius is given to you as 60 centimeters. So this will be 60 multiplied by 60. Uh, the height of the cylinder is given to you as 180 centimeters. 1 upon 3. The height of the cone is given to you as 120 centimeters. 2 upon 3. And the radius here is 60 centimeters. Now this can be cancelled 40 times, this can be cancelled 20 times, so this will become 22 is multiplied by this is 3600, 6 multiplied by six, uh, 6 is 36 and 0, 0 multiplied by 2, 0. Now this will be 180 minus this is 40 and this is again 40. And further solving this, this will remain as it is. Or you can further multiply this. Uh, this will be 36 multiplied by 22. Uh, this will be uh, 7.92. This will become 792. So this will become 792 and there are two zeros upon 7 and inside the bracket this minus minus first can be added so this is 40 plus 40 is 80 so this is minus 80 this is 180 so plus minus is again minus 180 minus 80 is 100 so this will become 100 and this will be the volume of water left inside the cylinder you can further solve this this will be in centimeter square sorry centimeter cube now uh, if you want to convert this into meters again 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and if you want to convert centimeter into meters then you have to divide this by 100 now you have to divide this by 100 to convert this into meters and there are 3 centimeters means centimeter cube is centimeter is multiplied by centimeter is multiplied by centimeters so you have to convert the if you want to convert this into meters you have to divide this expression by 100 three times okay now the answer will be 7 9 2 this is 0 0 and there are two more zeros upon 7 and centimeter when converted into meters so you have to multiply this with three zeros now these two zero two zero can be cancelled these two zero these two zero can be cancelled and if you divide these two values you will get your answer into in meters so this is how you can solve this particular question, I hope you have understood how to solve this question. 
If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. And if you have any query in maths, you can directly contact to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.